dry up. What is the point in being king if your pimples won't obey you? Well, technically, you're not the king, your majesty. Your coronation won't take place until next year when you're 16. But when it does, your pimples will tremble in your divine presence. You're not funny. Your majesty, today an unruly group of musketeers accosted my guard. May I have your permission to disband them? But I like my musketeers. Most certainly my guard can protect you. No, my father had musketeers. I want musketeers. Mother, mother. What is it, Louis? Mazarin wants to get rid of my musketeers. They are ruffians, my lady. So get rid of them. But I like them. Don't squeeze your face. How about the musketeers, Your Majesty? Play louder. It's noisy in here. Your Majesty is being childish. Oh. Well, then, let us be adult. I'll have your head cut off. Because that's what adults do around here, isn't it, Mazarin? I know I need my mother's permission, but when I'm 16, I won't. Will I, Mazarin? Will I? No, you won't, Your Majesty. But you may want to consider all the mundane and tedious details you'll have to attend to in my absence. The tax code, for example. Oh, go, go, go! Yes, Your Majesty. Bring me a friend. Would you like to peruse them? One moment, Mazarin. What do these shopkeepers want? They're being terrorized by thugs, Your Majesty. Who demand payment for protection. If the shopkeepers don't pay, they are beaten and their business is ruined. <gasps> now. That duck better not be going after my bait. It wouldn't dare, Your Majesty. Oh. I've, I've got one! I've got one! His Majesty has one. Well, it's, uh, it's not very lively. It's in awe of your greatness. Now, about these shopkeepers. Oh, Mazarin, where are my musketeers? Why don't they arrest these thugs? Your musketeers are behind it all, Your Majesty. What? No, that can't be. Oh, I'm prepared to prove it, Your Majesty. Tomorrow you will witness my men arresting the musketeers d'Artagnan and Jacques Lepont as they transport their stolen money down the river on a barge. And hopefully you'll have the good reason to finally disband these scoundrels once and for all. There's that. Duck again! The trick! <laughs> Excellent shot, Your Majesty. When are we going to be there? About five minutes less than the last time you asked me, Your Majesty. So how much is that? That would be 55 minutes. Oh. Well, 54 and 30 seconds, because we've been talking. Very clever, Your Highness. When they chop off D'Artagnan's head, do I have to watch? Your father always watched. Well, D'Artagnan is not a thief. I don't believe it. People aren't always what they seem, Your Majesty. Well, maybe you're not what you seem. Very good. Which is all the more reason why you must look at the hard facts, not let sentiment cloud your judgment. Blah, blah, blah. My job is not to make you like me, Your Majesty. My job is to prepare you for greatness. You execute your enemies, nobody pays attention. You send your friends to the gallows. The seals your omnipotence. Today you take a giant step towards your kingship. Today you make me very proud. <laughs> you can have that one. Well, 
I don't see a barge. Do you see a barge? Patience, Your Majesty. Patience. What happened to you? A duck exploded near his head, Your Majesty. Oh, yeah. A dead duck for a dead fish. <sighs> oh, you were wrong, Mazarin. They're not coming. D'Artagnan is innocent. I wish it were so, Your Majesty. See? The Boston Musketeers, nothing more than common thieves, preying upon your honest subjects. Is this true, D'Artagnan? No, Your Majesty, it is not true. And you? What is your name? Jacques Lepont, Your Majesty. Are you a thief? No, Your Majesty. Familiar. Mazarin, you said you had proof. Show it to me. On behalf of the Royal Musketeer. Uh, that means it goes underwater, Your Majesty. No. Really? Private Ciroc invented it. And you thought your musketeers were thieves, Your Majesty. What a well-played surprise, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I love a surprise. Well done, everyone. May I uh, look inside? Yeah. I... Is that Val de Bleu? Oh, I simply love Val de Bleu. As do I, Your Majesty. Oh, it goes exceedingly well with mollusks. It's a party. Smart. How should we collect the taxes? Ask Mazarin. Oh, we need to negotiate with the English. Ask Mazarin. Should we impose a tariff on our imports? Oh, ask Mazarin. But here, four boys of the most important families in Paris have gone missing. You don't have a clue. Oh, ask Mazarin. Ask Mazarin. Excuse me, Your Majesty. What would you like for breakfast? Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend? Smoked salmon. You heard him. Play some dinner music. Wait. Your Majesty, the musketeers are without. Without what? Their horses? Or their pants? <laughs> oh, I hope not. It means they're just outside of the room, Your Majesty. I know what it means. It was a joke. <laughs> Most amusing. You called for the musketeers without consulting me. Why not? Someone has to find those children. May I remind you, Your Majesty, that you are not officially Louis XIV until your 16th birthday. You are, shall we say, just Louis XIII and a half. And must I also remind you, Your Majesty, that you are bound to consider my advice and counsel. What do you care if the musketeers help? And I don't want smoked salmon, I want sausages. And show the musketeers in. And play that theme music. Your Majesty. Wait! You are all looking well today. Thank, Thank you, Your Majesty. D'Artagnan, I take it you are conquering the beauties of France as usual. I don't conquer them, Your Majesty. I merely accept their surrender. <laughs> yes. But lately it's been Ramon who's been lucky. Oh, he has. Who is she? Uh, well, uh, I'm not as cavalier with my heart as D'Artagnan, Your Majesty. She's a poetess. Oh, poetess? Does she have good lines? <gasps> lines? You get it. Poetess. Lines. <laughs> Your Majesty, uh, clearly you did not uh, ask us here to discuss our amorous adventures. No. No. Here is a list of boys who mysteriously disappeared from their homes last night. 
disappeared. Yes. And they are all from noble families, so it is important that you find them. Yes, Your Majesty. We shall do our best. Thank you. You may take your leave, and whatever you can stuff into your pockets. <laughs> A secret order? Yes, Your Majesty. And it's twice now we've tangled with them. And they were aligned with this enchantress? And we suspect other powerful men. Then she must be tortured until she gives us their names. I knew that. That won't be possible, Your Majesty. She escaped. Escaped? Your Majesty, allow my office to conduct a competent and professional investigation of this cult. It must not be allowed to flourish. Yes. Investigate. You may go, Captain. And don't forget my lines. Mother! Yes, Louis? What is it? Do you have to go on holiday now? I mean, what about Cromwell and the treaty? Oh, Mazarin will handle that. And Grandmama will take care of you. Oh, she is terrified of Cromwell. Well, you'll give her courage, my darling. Kiss, kiss. Monsieur Cromwell, welcome to France. Cromwell is here? He is? Oh. He's not here. Why are you getting me all worked up like this? He's not due it till noon. Don't slump, Louis. We must appear regal. Is it true that he eats babies? Ladies? He eats ladies? No, oh. babies! I dreamt last night that I was at the end of a fork, being lifted into a dark, open mouth. Oh, Grandmama, is Mazarin wise to want this treaty? I mean, this Cromwell executed his own king. They say he's rude, and he's cold, and he's got a big old wart oh, on his head. Stop badgering me, Louis. Oh, Grandmama, don't do that. Oh, I wish your father were alive. What if Mazarin is wrong? What if he's conspiring with this baby eater? No. Cardinal Mazarin led us through the revolt of the nobles after your father died. We have to trust him. Maybe I should just refuse to see Cromwell. And risk war with England? Exposing our underbelly to Spain? I don't think that would be prudent. But it's all so complicated. That's why I am here, sire. Your Majesties. Cromwell has arrived. Lord Protector Cromwell, may I present Louis the Fourteenth? Charmed. Welcome to France, Monsieur Cromwell. So very satisfactory, then. Uh, Lord Cromwell, we have provided a most delightful room for you. Perhaps you would like to freshen up. Soft furnishings make for soft souls. I'll stay with my men in your musketeer's barracks. Now I'd like to discuss the technicalities of the treaty with your prime minister. I'll show you to my office. I dreamt about him again. This time I was on a baguette. Oh. And at first it was snuggly and warm, but suddenly I was lifted in the air and then I saw the wart and it had a mouth. Oh, shame on you. That's rude and unseemly. Well, I can't help my dreams. Calm down. You'll sign that silly treaty and he'll go back to his foggy island. This thought. This is true, Captain? Yes, sire. But there has to be an explanation. Oh, Mother. What's for dinner? You.
Majesty. Your Majesty. Huh? I was having the most wonderful dream. I was standing up to Cromwell's wart. Although he was dressed... Your Majesty, one of your musketeers in league with an English traitor broke D'Artagnan out of prison. What? This is an act of treason. What has happened to my musketeers? They take advantage of a young king, but they've underestimated him. If you would just give your signature... No! Not yet. I'll talk to Captain Duval before the treaty signing. May I go back to sleep? Please? Rives. It'll show good faith. Oh! Has Cromwell become ruler of France now? With your musketeers disobeying you, Ambitious nobles waiting for you to stumble. Your Majesty, are you ready to take on Cromwell's new model army? Hmm? No disrespect. Cromwell will have you for breakfast. You've made your point. Send for Captain Duval. Captain Duval. Captain, you've been summoned because your musketeers have been disloyal to the crown and conspired with an Englishman to aid in his escape. Speak louder than words, Captain. England. Like an orange. Some wine. If musketeers would... Oh, look, hot. But first it is my duty to warn you that you are... But I see you've... Your Majesty? King? King of where? Of nowhere. Your Highness. By birth, he is my prisoner. He's our prisoner first. But we hand him over to you, Your Lordship. He's the one they've called the tra How a king can be a traitor to himself? Indeed. How could he? He can't. Well, of course not. That's absurd. A king. Yes, Your Majesty. Like yourself. Do you like hunting? My hounds are some of the finest in Europe. Ah, oh, but you should see mine. I demand you arrest that traitor! Demand? Go away! Take your peace treaty. I'm not afraid of you. Please reconsider. A hundred thousand francs is an awful strain to put on the treasury. Especially for a cause whose outcome is so doubtful. I hate it when you do this, Mazarin. You tell me to act like king, and as soon as I make a decision, you question it. Francois de Mignon happens to be my favorite cousin. But his brother Armand is also your cousin, Your Majesty. When I was five years old, Armand stuck a veal chop down my pants. Need I say more? You sent for me, sire? Yes, Captain Duval, my uncle, the Marquis de Mignon was mistaken for a wild pig and killed in a hunting accident. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, his son, Francois, is the rightful heir, but Francois's brother, Armand, is mounting a coup. Your men are to accompany a shipment of gold that I'm sending to Francois so he can buy arms. We'll make sure it gets there safely, sire. Or remove that note. Just to say the least. Tempered, no doubt, but. Oof! Uh, Francois sends his warmest regards, Your Majesty. <sighs> there. You see, Mazarin, Francois has the gold, his inheritance will be saved, his retainers will be spared. Oh my god! I can do great things! I can alter destinies! <laughs> I feel like a king. In which case, I don't have to play this thing. Now this, this is a kingly instrument. Ha! 
No bad notes on a drum. And the message we found, Your Majesty. Oh, yes, yes. It all sounds very mysterious. What do you make of it, Mazarin? I must confess, Your Majesty, I'm at a complete loss. Uh, we thought it wise to warn Francois of this possible new threat, Your Majesty. Wise indeed. Maybe Francois will send me Armand's head as a present. <laughs> Make way for His Majesty. I know that. Your job is not to tell me what I already know. You see, I told you so. What about yours? It never leaves my person. Oh. Well, then Sirac must be mistaken. Locke has not been tampered with. This is ludicrous. While we stand around poking and prodding at an empty box, the lives of loyal Frenchmen hang in the balance. Letter for Her Majesty. Any fool can see that the Queen is not here. Take it to her chambers. Extremely confidential information. It was a list of all our secret agents working abroad. If their identities were to become known to our enemies... <sighs> and yours were the only two keys. Nobody else could be trusted with such sensitive information. Well, whoever stole the documents from that strongbox had a key. Well, it wasn't me, and it wasn't Mazarin. Looks like we've got a mystery on our hands. The world of science holds... But the affairs of men are not nearly so inscrutable. You just have to know where to look. When I was young, I was... A king! Like me! Which means... Ooh, let me think now. What does it mean? Ah, oh, yes! I win again! <laughs> Oh, there's just no stopping my luck today. So it would appear, Your Majesty. That's 730 francs added to your other losses, which makes 5,339 francs. Oh, yeah. It's good to be king. You there, send for more pudding. Oh, hurrah. Your good friend, the Duke, and I are playing Basset. Again? I think you spend too much time playing childish games. You have no idea about responsibility or the... or the terrible burden it brings. Your mother seems upset about something. Oh, she's always upset. My deal. D'Artagnan and D'Artagnan. Oh, I love doing that. Come in, come in. I'm afraid we must continue our game tomorrow. As you wish. Oh, Your Highness, you are looking well. And my, how you've grown. Oh, I'm going to be taller than father. Come, sit, sit, both of you. Are you in Paris to stay? No. He's not. I'm just passing through on my way to the Far East. Oh, pity. We've had a terrible tragedy here in the palace. Oh, really? What happened? You see why these documents must be found. This is wonderful news. What changed your mind? If I may say so, it was the memory of your dear father. How could I refuse his son anything? Oh, bravo! And when will you begin? Right away, of course. Well, there's just one thing. Name it. Oh, well, time is of the essence. In order to proceed with expediency, I'm going to need to be put in complete control of the investigation. <laughs> D'Artagnan is coming back! D'Artagnan is coming back! Tied with glory. I believe these belong to you. Oh, thank you, D'Artagnan. 
And D'Artagnan. <laughs> I never get tired of that. If the thief remains continent. We are grateful to both of you. And you shall receive a handsome reward for your service to France. Well, thank you. Oh, so you'll not reconsider your decision to leave? Well, I can see my talents are not needed here after all. Oh, your majesty's are in. <laughs> Sire? D'Artagnan. What can I do for your eyes? Walk with me. I have a question. Man to man. You understand women. Not as much as I wish. Why is my entire court obsessed with this highwayman? I mean, he's nothing but a thief. And he has no land, no power, and yet the women... Desire him. Oh, even my own mother seems to talk of nothing else. Perhaps they're drawn to the idea of danger, of something they can't control. No, no, that can't be it. I mean, who wouldn't want to control everything? Women are a mystery, sire. Yes. Well, lately, I've had the urge to pinch them. I know the feeling. I am the highwayman. What do you think I want? Tell me. I want. I want. I want this! Louis! What on earth are you doing? I'm sorry, ma'am. We were, we were just playing a game. How dare you behave like this? Why, it's. Well, it's shameful you dressed up like that. So? You're the one who's always talking about the highway, man. Oh, Isabel, stop gawking and go somewhere. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, Louis, look at me. This is not the proper way to act with the ladies. Well, then why do you want to be robbed by the highwayman? Who told you that? Everyone. Well, well I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Oh, well, you never want to talk about anything. Oh, Louis, wait. Take off that mask, dear. If you want to have a talk, then we can have a talk. All right. What shall we talk about? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Well... How are your Latin lessons coming along, dear? Oh, fine. Good. Mother! Yes, dear? What was father like? He was like a king. Would you like to see the sword he wore to our wedding day? May I hold it? You may have it. Welcome. Read the proclamation, Louis. <clears throat> By order of the crown, Mark Black, also known as the Highwayman, is Herbie, yeah, of course, is hereby granted pardon on the condition that he renounce his life of crime and raise his child as a royal subject of the crown. <laughs> happened to me now. Calm down, Louis. You give yourself hives on top of everything. Look, I can't see her now. Of course you can. This is your bride we're talking about. 
Which means she'll like me. Which means she's bound to honor and obey you. Oh. Well, I like the sound of that. <laughs> oh, I do hope she's beautiful and, and sweet. Is that better? We just fix your collar, darling. Your Majesty, she has arrived. Mm. There's nothing to worry about. Remember, you are France. Your Royal Highness, Louis, which into France may I present Princess Tatiana of Upper Gaborski. Enchanté. This is the king? But he's just a boy. And what is that thing on his face? So, nice day. I like nice days. Do you like nice days? No, I like horrible days when it rains, frogs. But you... Uh, a, a joke! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. I, I get it. Pickle? I, I'm not sure, Mother. Oh. Ring for the chef. Eat with mustard, sire. Oh. I believe they're made with mustard. Oh, give me a napkin. Oh, don't you have any real food? So, Princess, what's your favorite hobby? I like to fish. Do you like to fish? No. The Princess has been very busy with the affairs of state since her father died, and our diamond mines were discovered. Well, that's something else we have in common. Since my father died, I sometimes sign a dozen papers a day. I need some fresh air. Protect me. Oh, for goodness sake, Louis, stop sulking and go after her. <sighs> Not like that, darling. You're the king. Puff out your chest. What I'm trying. Well, then, tilt up your chin. And that's perfect. Now, be masterful. Don't forget, darling. Chin up. <sighs> Princess Tatiana, what do you think of my gardens? They'll do. Do you want something? I... I command. Oh, what? What are you doing? I'm your king! Not yet, you're not! Do I look more commanding in blue? Maybe... Maybe I should wear more gold braid. No, oh, it'll be all right, darling. Shall I have Cook make you something nice? Oh, Mother, why does she have to be so horrible to me? <laughs> Darling, she's a princess. What did you expect? Well, why can't I have one I like? Like, didn't the Spanish want to send one of theirs or something? One marries home's best for the country, Louis. Oh, darling, don't worry about it. I have a talk with her, shall I? Explain all about becoming a queen. Very good, Your Majesty. I am the mighty state of France. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea you were so powerful. Oh. Well, I've been exercising. You, you know, you really shouldn't see me like this. Y yet. I came to apologize. Really? Oh, my mother talked to you. Don't think about her. I just didn't want anything to come between us, hmm? Oh. Mm -hmm. You are so tense. It must be hard work being king. So much responsibility. Oh. Well, to tell the truth, I, I let Cardinal Mazarin do most of the worrying. <laughs> oh. We are going to have so much fun when we are married. My lands have all the best hunting and fishing. Oh, I'm sure you'll be far too busy with affairs of state to spend much time with me. 
Oh, no, 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 because you're so much more fun than my boring advisors. And so much softer, too. Oh. Wait! Where are you going? We don't want to spoil the wedding night, hmm? Dream of me. will not come to France, then France must go to Upper Gaborski. Sorry? Just turn a blind eye, there's a good man. Ah. And a blind ear, for good measure. <laughs> Princess? Tatiana? Hello? that window and you will not follow or she dies with me don't hurt her please let him go i have no choice <laughs> Majesty, what are you doing here? Someone grabbed me and tried to kill me. Except it wasn't me, it was Tatiana. And they brought me to you. You tried to kill her. Get away Louis, from Louis, Louis, Louis. Hear me out. I did it for us. I don't follow. France deserves a queen who knows how to rule. Apokrabowski deserves a princess with the desire for France. Hmm? Tatiana is neither. So you were trying to scare her into abdicating to turn the throne over to you? And start a war over that? No. There is only one good way to change one monarch for another, Your Highness. With Tatiana out of the way, I would be your fiancé. And I would not turn you out, hmm? Well, that's an interesting proposal. Louis, say the word, and our donations will be joined Tonight. Sorry, we're late, Your Majesty. Believe me, D'Artagnan. You're right on time. Then there are no 
Oh, diamonds. Not in Upper Gaborski, Your Majesty. Oh, and the jeweler who sold the fakes, has he been arrested? Unfortunately not, sire. His body was found this morning on the banks of the Seine. We believe he was killed by the same person responsible for the thefts. Somebody doesn't want the truth coming out. I can't imagine anyone in France having such a motive. But what about her promises? She promised to be rich. Sire, what would the people think if you don't keep your word? Well, what about Tatiana? No one's mentioned how she might feel. Can you imagine her humiliation if she's spurned? It's not her fault she's not rich. Noble sentiment, sire. Ah. Your Highness. Princess, I've decided to marry you. The wealth of your beauty alone is worth more than a mountain of diamonds. Sire, your gallant words touch my heart. I can't take up her out of the girl. But I will always cherish your kindness. How they kiss in Apogaborski. From now on, that is how we kiss here in France. To the French kiss! Sword. Though it may not be the magic sword no tongue of Norseman myth, the royal metallurgists have authenticated it as an ancient blade many centuries old. In recognition for your bravery, we entrust it to your care with our gratitude. I'm humbled, Your Majesty. No, we are humbled by your courage. Now hold high that sword, musketeer.
Captain Duval. What have you found out? The assassin is a Spanish agent. It's an assumption. The Pont here found a note describing His Majesty's movements. It was written in Spanish. Undoubtedly, Paris is honeycombed with traitors. We'll go on high alert. That's a command decision, Lapont. But he's right, Captain. Good work, Lapont. I feel as though I've been granted a special power, sire. I wish to use it in your service. A special power? The palace windows should be kept shut, sire. Security is getting woefully lax. Where have you been hiding him, Duval? So are you sure this is necessary? It is for your safety. Well, you see, Mother and I put a lot of thought into this room. There are gold specks in the marble that cannot be seen without full sun. Your Majesty, all this glass open to the garden, it's just an invitation to assassins. But I thought you caught the assassin. Well, we can't guarantee it will be the last time. Sire, I'm afraid we must assume the worst here. There may well be a Spanish plot against your life. <laughs> There's always a Spanish plot against my life. That's my cross to bear. Well, Your Majesty, I will consider it my personal mission to carry that cross for you. How do you mean? If you will entrust your safety to me, I will devote every minute of my life to your protection. And I don't believe there's a man in this kingdom more qualified for the job. Every minute of your life? Yes. I like the sound of that. I will sleep across your doorway every night. Well, good. We'll get you a room across the hallway. From now on, you are His Majesty's special protector. At your service. Excuse me. And this is a list of all lands seized by suspected conspirators. Before their trial? Why waste time? If your majesty would just sign here, we can begin the reappropriation immediately. Yes, well, usually Mazarin oversees all matters of, uh, of, of legal stuff. Ah, oh, yes. Mazarin. I've been meaning to speak to you about him. What? You don't suspect. I mean, he's not Spanish. No, but really, how different is an Italian from a Spaniard? Oh, dear. You do realize what this means, don't you? I'm afraid I do. No more Thursday ravioli nights. Your Majesty, I'm here to allow you to personally ascertain innocence or guilt. I approve, Your Majesty. You know, masquerading as the opposite sex to deceive the crown is a treasonable offense punishable by death, which can only be handed down by His Highness. <laughs> a traitor, a liar, and a murderer, Your Majesty. Jacqueline Roger. Not Jacques Lapointe. Wanted for the murder of the captain of my guard. Not murder. Justice! That swine killed my father! Wait. You're a woman? What does it matter if a man or a woman protects you from the conspirators that surround you? She's a deceiver, Your Majesty. Have her arrested. Yes. D'Artagnan, take her into custody. He'll have to kill me. Surrender Jacqueline. We'll petition His Majesty for clemency. We'll ask for exile. Your Majesty, you would consider exile, would you not? I served you faithfully. Don't bargain for me. Bargain for your own lives. I wield the invincible sword! Witch! Witch! She's a witch! D'Artagnan, disarm her! Oh, dear Lord, forgive me. 
Give me the sword. Whenever he thinks he's Siegfried, he runs off from the sanitarium. You naughty boy. I think it'd be best if you keep this, Your Majesty. Are we ready to come home now? I'm tired. I can imagine. Come along. Well, thank God for the merciful sisters. And your excellent work, Lepont. Thank you, sire, but it really was a group effort. Oh, all for one and one for all. No? Actually, sire, that is D'Artagnan's father's motto. We try to avoid it. Well, then you need your own motto. We'll have a nationwide contest. <laughs> Meanwhile, your bravery must be rewarded. Ask for anything. Name it, and it shall be yours. D'Artagnan, Your Majesty. Oh, of course. And Jacques. Sirac too, sire. Ramon Montego Francisco de la Cruz. Ah, my musketeers. So, what are you doing here? We need your help. Invaders from England? No. The, the royal seal, it's missing? No. Well, that must be something very dreadful. It is. The Knights of the Black Tabernacle have kidnapped Mother. Worse! It's the teacher. She's gone insane. She's out of control and must be stopped. My scientific equipment has been taken away. She gave my poetry a failing grade. They were words from heaven made. And me, the greatest swordsman the world has ever known. She's refused to let us bring our foils to class. No, I am the greatest swordsman alive. I am! Cease this bickering! You are all acting like children! Now I will put a stop to this tyranny. Thank you, Your Majesty. All for one? And one for all. I've always wanted to say that. It's my father's line. <laughs> Wake up! Please pay attention to your studies. You've fallen asleep. Again? Bring me my musketeers! You're supposed to be a doctor. Why can't you cure this malady? Well, as I've already tried to explain, Your Majesty, your system is purifying itself, casting out the toxic effect of the drug. I was perfectly fine until you insisted I give it up. But there must be something more we can do for her, Doctor. Well, we could try the leeches again. Oh, no leeches. Why does it always have to be leeches? I am only trying to do my job, Your Majesty. This infernal brew is poisoning your system. Indeed, it is poisoning the whole of Paris. Perhaps Dr. Malero is right, Mother. This coffee is known to have an intoxicating effect. But I like the intoxicating effect. I want my coffee! Well, look what it's doing to you. The lack of it that's done is can't you see that? The bean must be banished, Your Majesty. Grant me your proclamation and let me rid Paris of this evil venom. Well, the people do love it. Oh, yes, but that doesn't make it good for them. No, they would be far better off indulging in some harmless stimulant like tobacco. <coughs> You see, Your Highness, um, the compressed steam actually intensifies the flavor of the coffee. May I try it? Of course, Your Highness. I think you'll find this 
more pleasing to the royal palate. Superb! I don't know why Dr. Malraux said that coffee was bad for you. I mean, it's really very tasty. And technically, Your Highness, when you put milk in it, it can be classified as a food. We shall reopen the coffee houses. I decree, I command. Consider it done. You are a very wise king, sire. Shall we have another cup? Coming right up, Your Highness. I'm giving the matter some thought. You have my permit between a mother and her son. Not even me. Thank you, Your Majesty. We've been hunting the elusive tiger for weeks, never able to get close enough to get off a shot. But then, the animal came for me in my bed. Oh, do go on, Ambassador. <laughs> well, my pistol was just out of reach. The tiger was no further from my cot than I am from you at this moment. And I was forced to take on the tiger with nothing but my sword. Slash, jab, ha! Precisely, Your Majesty. Right through the neck. Shah Jahan keeps tigers in his garden, sire. They are not tamed, but they do obey his majesty. Oh, see, I would like a tiger. Is this the palace? It's called the Taj Mahal, sire. It's a monument to the emperor's late wife. Oh, you see, I would like a palace like this. You're on good terms with this Shah Jahan ambassador? Yes, your majesty. He was having trouble with a local cult, a noble family that refused to recognize the monarch. That can be so tiresome. Mm -hmm. My men were able to drive out the insurgents, and His Majesty rewarded me with their lands to house my company. The family was one of India's most ancient. We found this hidden in a stone vault on the property. It's an ancient text of native fable, sire. Uh, now, Your Majesty may be more interested in this. The powdered horn of the mighty Indian rhinoceros said by the locals to greatly increase a man's power. Ooh. <laughs> Sire, I assure you, this is all a mistake. Why on earth would I steal back what I gave you? Those gifts are a mere fraction of what I've earned in India. Well, he makes a good point, Captain. With your permission, Sire, we took the liberty of looking into Ambassador Perisot's finances. His investments at home haven't done well, Your Highness. He's on the brink of bankruptcy. Is this true? An exaggeration, sire. Nevertheless, I saw him in your chambers myself, sire. That is outrageous. I was at home, sire. My wife will confirm that. Scientific evidence will prove otherwise, your highness. We applied an indelible ink to your property. The hands of the thief are stained with red. Show me your hands. That, that's a odd. I, that, that's impossible. I wasn't there, Your Majesty. Captain Duval? With my own two eyes, sire. Captain Duval has my ultimate trust. If he says he saw you, then you were there. Take him to the Bastille. 